Uh, Steve Amber, Chief Braden had a lot to say about the state of policing in America right now. And here in Fayetteville, he said his priorities over these next 30 days will be to have lots of conversations with people in and outside of the department to really understand the people that he's working alongside and the people that, that he's serving in this big promotion. And today there are lots of people in the city council chambers for today's ceremony, including James Nolette, one of Chief Braden's assistant police chiefs and one of his top contenders for this position. Uh, he said that, um, you know, before he's really wanted to improve the department's response to mental health crises and to reform its handling of homicides and other violent crime. But today he also had a lot to say about what he's been learning as he's been watching the Tyree Nichols case and the question that were running through his mind as he watched that graphic video. Here's what he had to say. As I watched the video, I had questions as, A, where was the supervisor while this incident was going on? And B, how, does, how, does, how do officers feel comfortable enough to act the way they did, say the things they said, knowing that their body camera is on? To me, you know, that, that led me to believe that, that supervision has got to take place first and foremost. We got to have to know what our officers are doing out in the streets. We have to have supervisors more involved in that initial call for service. We have to have supervisors that review body worn camera footage to ensure that our officers are acting in the manner that we think is, is appropriate. It's also worth noting that Chief Braden is Fayetteville's first police chief of Asian descent, but he says that he wants to make history for his performance leading the department. Live in Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. His history is uh, pretty impressive there. 27 years at the FPD, rising his way through the ranks to the very top job. Monique, thank you.